Kenzie, here is a look at some of the stubby slalom course we had up on Inferno the day up top. Simple course, kind of flat up there, but just put you up against here against Benji just for some, uh, you know, visual kind of things we're, we're talking about. Uh, most of the stuff, you know, we've been talking about with you is using more ankles and knees to get those skis up on edge. And I'm not sure if, you know, if you can see, but clearly right there you see how your hip is on the inside that was your move right there try to get those skis up on edge and we really want to use just ankles and knees like ben did there all right keeping the hip square down the hill closed as we like to talk it talk about i mean your hip right now is, is pointing out you know in that direction so what happens, weight goes to the inside ski. Uh, and you can see there, you kind of start a little divergence. You got weight on the inside there. Skis widen right there because the inside ski's hooking up more and turning faster. And your outside ski, you had to really kind of catch up with it. Um, you are a little better ankles and knees on the right footers on this side. But we tend to still be a little bit on the inside and a little bit, you can tell already, A-framing, right? Pretty big A-frame there. You know, inside foot appears to be ahead of it and flatter. So on both sides, we've got to pull the inside foot back. That's going to help on the left footer to so square up more of the hip and not be as A-framing on, on the right footer. So here we come in here. And there's your move right there. Hip goes to the inside. Kind of dump the hip in. We don't see Ben's hip at all dumping in. Ankles and knees square down the hill. Hip to square down the hill. Hip is closed. Again, this promotes inside ski skiing. You can see you're diverging there, right? Scissoring a little bit. And the feet get really wide again because the inside ski had more pressure and you were tracking. It was hooking up and turning faster. Here again, you know, better use of angles and knees on this. But again, you know, we got the uh, little A-frame there going and on the inside ski. Inside ski hooks up here quicker, feet widen. And there's that move, that hip, right? There. And especially, especially in a, in a hairpin or flush, just want to use ankles and knees like Ben did. And you can see his bend of the outside ski, weight on the outside ski. Not sure why you're going to get tossed around in this thing, but little bump there. It didn't seem like it bothered Ben at all, but it bothered you, which could get you a kind of a, not a strong exit, but again, there's that move. Using that hip. And we can see the A-frame. So we're going to pull back the inside ski. We've got to roll up both. We work a lot about rolling the inside knee. Inside knee has to be, you know, rolled in equally. You know, you can think about rolling the inside knee to start the turn, but pressure the outside ski. You roll the inside knee up, the outside knee is going to come along for the ride. It's not going to hang back. So roll the in, drive the inside knee, pressure the outside ski. Yeah, we talk about this a lot with you, um, right? I mean, elbows by your sides. Let's just get those hands out in front. Right? There's no reason to have elbows by your body. Elbows have to be in front of the body. Again, you can see the diverge of the, you know, the skis there. A couple things. One, you can see how... Um, 
you know, flatter the inside ski is, right? Start a little V here, really cheating on the inside ski. And it widens out here because we're around the inside ski, and that's the one that's hooking up better. It's got more weight on it. And the outside ski's got to catch up. Better turn through there. Again, right footers, we tend to have better use of ankles and knees. And there's that move, that move right there. Where we should be looking to drive knees this way a little bit, you know, forward and inside the turn. But we drop the hip in and we counter out you know, that way. So the hip is not closed. We just want to use ankles and knees right here. Roll it up. All right, so we're square down the hill. Hip is square down the hill. Hip is closed, as we call it. Better on that side. And there's that move right there. So I hope, you know, we've been talking about it. I know, hey, we've already talked about this. Habits are hard to break. But I hope you can see. Let's try to pull the inside foot back. Roll up both.